Welcome to App Design Tips. This video is part of a free complete icon design tutorial. If you want to follow along, you can download the exercise files using the link in the description below. When we began this course, I touched a little on the importance of balancing icons in the same icon set. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to do that. I've designed these five icons using the same sized artboards, and they all have the same size circle backgrounds, but even though they are similar relative sizes, some feel much heavier and larger than others. That is because the ratio of some icons can take up more square space than others, even if they have similar widths or heights. You can see if I hide the circles, it's much more apparent that these icons need some balancing. I've overlaid these areas to show you the ratio and area for each icon is much different. For example, this compass appears much larger than the others, even though the fire icon is actually taller than the compass. The mountains also feel smaller than the others, even though it's centered on the circle. It appears to be sagging and visually doesn't look good. This is where the judgment of our human eye needs to take control. It's important to look at these icons side by side and visually judge the proper balance. So let's do that now. So before we balance anything, I'm going to hide these shadow layers here. We can turn them back on and fix them later, but I'm just going to get these out of the way as we're, we're resizing our icons. Now I'll start with the one that appears to be visually the largest, and that appears to be this compass here. So I'm going to hold down Shift and Option or Alt on the windows. And I'll just bring this down. I think I like that size here. And now we can see this is supposed to be the largest, depending on the ratio, but now this one appears to be a little bit larger. So I'm going to resize this down, make it somewhat similar. And even though now it is taller, this is about 80 pixels tall, where this is 73 pixels tall, they feel visually the same size. Now this car over here, we're going to scale this down somewhat like this. And I think that's a lot better. It probably seems a little bit small, so come up about right there. And so this has more negative space than the clock. This clock takes up more area, so this is a 74 by 75. This is a 73 by 73. So this is a tiny bit bigger, but it still feels just as balanced. And now this mountain, we can bring this down and this mountain's a little bit interesting because even though it is centered on this circle, it doesn't feel to be so because there's some negative space here above the icon. And so we can actually click on this icon here and just nudge this up until it feels visually balanced. Something like that appears a lot better. There's a little bit more white space here and here, so it feels even. And we're gonna take this map do the same thing, shift and option or shift and alt on the windows and we will resize. And then as you step back and look at all of them, we may need to play around with resizing this a little bit more. So this might need to be a little bit smaller compared to the map and maybe this one here. And you may be able to see it better even if you hide these colors. So I'm going to just add some transparency here and we can start to see how this looks against each other. It's looking a little bit better. And I think we're getting really close. Again, it's just the judgment of your eye as you're looking at the balance to make sure that things feel weighted similarly across each other. And I think that's a good job there. So I'm gonna take these circles, select them again, and let's bring back the opacity. And you can see here, it's looking much better. Now that we have these icons somewhat balanced, let's bring back our shadows here. So I'm going to turn this shadow layer on. We'll turn this one on. And we can see that our shadows look very broken now. And now let's try to just resize this. So first of all, we can just start to size and match these corners right here. So let's do that. Come over here, match this about like that. We can zoom in just so we can have a little bit better visual control here. And as soon as our shadow looks decent, we can double click inside of here. We have this circle selected now. 
and this circle, we can bring this back out to the edges of our artboard, and that's going to cover this. Now, it didn't cover this all the way, so I'm going to move this back, select this shape here, and sometimes it's like pecking and hunting trying to find these, but I'm just going to move these over here, just outside this circle again. That looks good. And then select this circle again and grow this out to match the edges. And we can change this to be 128 by 128. And that's our shadow here. We can come back over here, do a similar thing. Um, I actually just want to grab these nodes, so if I double click here, I can grab these nodes, bring it in, select these nodes, bring that in, and now that's an accurate shadow casting. We can do the same thing over here. So I'll select these two nodes first, bring it over this way, bring this one in about right here, and continuing on with these ones. And last one, so we just double click, we select this shape, bring this in here, select these two corners, bring it in this way, and now we can zoom out and we see that everything looks really decent, balanced, and they look like they go together. If you're enjoying this free icon design tutorial, I have a complete course on learning Adobe XD for UI UX design. You can find a link in the description below with a steep discount included for my YouTube fans. This course will cover everything from learning the Adobe XD interface to designing and prototyping an entire app from start to finish.